Hello everybody, this is Mackerel Phones. I'm playing Hylix. That's what this is. I believe this was made in RPG Maker, but I don't know much else about it. I can't select continue yet because I haven't started. So, let's start. I guess we're on a tropical island vacation. Oh, a burning tyranny utterly considers the luxuries, the people hoist of a chemical. The... what? It is a delusion amidst a creature. It is a mirror. Far beyond mountain? Meanwhile, Gibby, king of the moon, liquef liquefies a ray near the hideous ocean mirror. I guess this is serious, judging by all those exclamation points. Thus your story begins. Act one, huh? It looks kind of like claymation. Is it? Okay, so now we're somebody else. This is, I think, the protagonist. I can understand why the Moon King might affect him, since he looks like he might be Mr. Shine. I love my cat. Don't you? Learned ablative hollow pleather. Um... I like the, uh, sound effects, but let's see, let's take a look at our dossier. Oh, it's just our, like, stats. So this fellow's named Wayne. Get it? Like a waning and waxing moon? Wayne is feeling correct. I'm glad. And his mightiness is a pistol. Okay, how, how do I get back? Okay, you have to, to get back, you have to press the pause button rather than any of the other buttons, like the back button, for example. Get dressed. There are no bullets, though. I get it, so he just will attack by... I, I suppose he attacks by whip, pistol whipping things. Okay. Oh, he has powers, too. What can you do, Wayne? Oh, yeah, he has, um... The thing he just learned from watching educational daytime television. And hypno-sigils. Okay. Now, I'm calling it a he because Wayne, to me, sounds like a, uh... You know, male name, a masculine name. Wait a minute, I pressed the wrong button. Well, can you really blame me? Okay, let's try this again. So here we are on our the, the Cape Man on his beach vacation. Just staring out at the beautiful ocean. The sun is riding. A gland strongly sings in the... I don't think this is the words that there were last time. It is a mirror in a homunculus. It is a theory. A stride memory. Meanwhile, Gibby, king of the moon, batters a passion fair a, a passion far beyond the spirit science. This is like Finnegan's Wake. Okay, so Gibby. I assume that this fellow right here is Gibby, king of the moon. I in fact I expect that right now he is on the moon. Look at these graphics. Did they, like, make a clay sculpture and then... Anyway. It's your life savings. Ah, our life savings isn't much. Yeah, this is a rather sparsely furnished living room, although I do like the, uh, hovering moon crystal. You know what they say. No house is complete without one. Look at his... Look at him walk. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, okay. Now this time I'll learn from past mistakes. 
Now, I don't really make mistakes. I just make, let's call them stenanks. So that's what that was. And now we'll watch educational television once again. Okay, and now it's co it's still called Ablative Hollow Pleather, so that hasn't been re renamed. Let's see, let's go see the landlady. Oh no, we own our house. What are these? Are these our pet beetles? We can't t pick them up. Oh, we can we can talk to them. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's probably has been a while. I myself have not bathed in years, just showered. F I assume that Will is MP and Flesh is HP. In the in the toilet? Sure. This is a toilet paper. Yes. For a moment I thought it was an eyeball. That would have been spooky. Yeah, you have an odd house here. Your wallpaper reminds me of intestines, Wayne. Okay. What are, what is this? Whoa! That's a pretty valuable warm burrito. I'll keep that in mind next time I see a toilet. Well, when you have nothing else to wear, they say to wear toilet paper. Those are that's good advice. I've I've grown up on those on that advice. There we go. Now he's going out wearing, I assume, some kind of toilet paper loincloth. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Talk about an. Oh. Yeah, every one of these is going to be subversion of what we expect happens when you open a trash can, isn't it? No finding hamburgers this time. I really like this town. The the, the uh, city hall is invested in these abstract art. Hey, Squirrely. Squir squirrel. You want to squir squirrel around? Squirrel? Squirrel. Thanks. I'm sorry for chasing you. I was just very curious. I just want to talk. I want to know what kind of squirrel you were. Turns out he was a very intellectual fellow into geopolitics. It's a dancer. Me Menthulian. M no, me Menthelillian. Okay. I guess we're gonna go on a trip to Menthelillian. Menthelillian. Does that have any relation to menthols? Hope not, those aren't good for you. This water is almost as trippy as the water. Oh! Finally! Wait, what's that other stuff in there? Is that a green plumbus? Oh, hold on, I'm not the overworld yet. I'm not done exploring our hometown. We also have a horse. I agree. Is that a horse? It might be a donkey. And we also have the local cactus patch. I'm already get. Uh, maybe this takes place in the same version of Coconino County that a uh, crazy cat is set in. I could see it. What a beautiful day. Evening, morning, twilight. So, this is our continent, huh? I see that there's Donut Island to the north. That must be where uh, the Donut Plains are. There are dinosaurs there. Okay, I guess that's the Menthalalia is up here, right? Yep, Menthalalian. The austere city. It's pretty austere. You a guard? I wonder what a mortal homunculus is. Hold on, is this person naked? I can't tell. Okay, so cone cultists. 
You see, all the shapes here are very sort of not the classical shapes that Euclid would have been studying, so that's why cones would be in opposition to that. Conics. Yeah, they're about as talkative as those fellows in the dance club in Yume Niki. I see, so these are insects. That's strange, I thought they were... living... Well, I don't know, I mean, this one that sort of looks like it's made out of hot dogs, for example. Or perhaps I... What's it doesn't look like it's made of sausages, it looks sort of like... I don't know. Sort of wiggling around, though. Loot! Of course we do. Well said, Wayne. Wait, is that Wayne talking? Or is it narration? Well, it must be him talking as Wayne's picture is next to it. What a strange city. I mean, I guess it's austere. I see. These are countercultural folks. Yeah, I, you see, I just figure there aren't many other video games quite like this out there. Sounds very motherish. I see, it's a shop. I'm interested in stabbing and bludgeoning. You know, sometimes. Yeah, these would all be better for stabbing or bludgeoning than a pistol. Pistols are good for some things, but it, you know, not for this. That's what we call irony. No, no, no. The normal back button is not the back button here, so it keeps throwing me off. Okay. Um... No, we're not using the warm burrito. We don't need it yet. Here's where, here we go. Oh, I see. The trash can lid is a great shield. It's worthy of Don Quixote. I suppose to be like a bat means you get hit in the face with baseballs all day. We've all been there. I keep expecting to walk into a palace and find the king. Maybe it's too traditional for this. I mean, this is not Dragon Quest. I took a bath like 10 minutes ago, man. Oh, look at the perspective here. What an interesting culture the locals have. I don't understand a lick of it. Stretch thine wheel. Okay, so, the, this juicy wheel. So there's, so the wheel is the opposite of the brain vessel. I see. And I see that the crystals are found throughout the world. Maybe it's a local thing in this nation, though. Now, you see, that is a good friend. He, he told us how it was right up. in a flesh stash. Oh, no, I see. What, not when you're fighting in a flesh stash. When you are in combat against a flesh stash. Ah, uh, yes. I've heard of this, um, Pongorma. Or is that... the... mountain? Oh, no. He lives on the western island. Okay. What did you say again? Something about a flesh stash. I don't even... I, um, they're all poets. Bunch of beatniks. Hello, banana shop. I like the sound of this chrome bowler. Although I don't have nearly enough. I am just have 50 bucks. Um, torso shell. 
Nah, I'll, I'll stick with my toilet paper, thank you very much. I don't need your clothing. Come on. Well, I mean, right now I'm naked, actually, but I don't know about Wayne. Wait, what was that he just walked into? It looks like, kind of like a... Like a dog, like that lump above the door is a mouth of the tongue hanging out. Have you heard about our bleak cellophane? Ah, the bleak cellophane. Wait, what? Oh, I see. These are just more... Artifacts, huh? Yeah, I, I don't have enough for any of them. I'm not quite sure what to call those, but they're, they, they'll protect us from status ailments. Okay, so, um... This is pretty open-ended. All you people out there who always complain about not having, about, you know, RPGs being linear, here you go, pretty open-ended. The cult permits nothing to leave Posewath. No, I see. So Posewath is the mountain where the Conic cult lives. And they're Conic because they, um... Worship the mountain, I guess. In a sense, good sense, crippling mankind. Oh, here we are. So this is the mountain, huh? Eh, it's not so bad. You one of the cultists? It... Yeah, it was a few of the cultists. Um. Cone cultist A, cone statue, and cone cultist B. I see. Their idol is a robot that's come alive to attack us. Wayne can't see a damn thing, so, um, we can't run away, though, can we? Oh, what is our special moves? Probably. I like the way they put that. Um... No, let's not use that, though. Instead of that, how about we use just attack? Though it will do us no good since we're kind of blind. It's interesting that he attacks by snapping. I would think he would attack by beating them with a bat. Okay, this isn't working. How do we get out of here? Oh. Well, when in doubt, throw dynamite. I like that it I like the touch that they say he can't see a damn thing. Oh, but he can see now. He got over the bright light. Oh, wow. Soon we'll have enough money easily to, uh... Okay, this is good. Oh, wait. Oh, jeez. Oh, gross. His blood even got all over these weird sculptures that the Conic cultists have set up around here. I think it's a nice touch that they don't actually chase after him. Actually, they might be, but they're not like run- Nah, they're not. Okay, this is good. I mean, it's obvious we're gonna need some- We're gonna need that, uh, cellophane if we're going to get past these guys. You see, it'll reflect the light from their shiny statues right back at them. Wonder why he keeps that couch outside. You think the rain would damage it in that position, wouldn't you? Okay, hey, man, that's a nice dance you're doing, I do like it, but I need this cellophane. Thank you. Now, as much as I'd like to get that crystallized bad juju so I can poison the cultists, you know, we have to save the city one, one block at a time. Really, it feels like the whole thing is claymation with some kind of filter over it. But, um, anyway. The moon and claymation do go back a long ways. Remember that was that first Wallace and Gromit where they go to the moon? It's also the worst Wallace and Gromit, but it was the first one, so what do you expect? So, we're wearing this on our head. Okay. 
I've heard of tinfoil hats. This is like that, but with cellophane. Aluminium foil! Well, okay, let's go back there, I guess. Why, this isn't the way. Silly mackerel phones, that's not the way. Wayne, Wayne. Now that we're here, though. Um, we gonna climb? Yeah, we are. This is a rather spectacular city, and I admit I've never seen another one quite like it. Exhume sphere-like, huh? I'll keep that in mind. You know, those are words to live by. Ever since I was a kid, I, I, I was always told to exhume sphere-like. Now we have some more money, let's see what other stuff we can get. We can afford both of them. But I'll take the torso shell, we don't need the combat shell. This has got to be the most surreal menu navigation I've ever done. Now? Okay, so now Wayne is significantly less going around in a toilet paper loincloth. Now, this is not the trippiest video game I'm aware of. There are, I mean, it's up there to be sure, but... Well, it kind of reminds me... It's a very, it's sort of more comical and stock... Wait, is that a person? I see, he's also a shopkeeper. Why, well, I, I too eat frozen burritos. That's what I ate for lunch today. I never thought about using it as a projectile, though. The next time I'm attacked by cultists in the street, I'll have to keep that in mind. It could come in handy. Well, I guess we're gonna go back up to the mountain. I don't really have any other leads right now. Look at him run! Is he, like, slapping his thighs as he runs? He... <laughs> well, he doesn't move any more mechanically than everyone else. Here we are on Mount Poswath. I see there's only a limited number of enemy encounters in the game. I always think it's interesting when they design uh, video games in that way. We're like Pac-Man. Okay, now that tall guy with the octopus on his head is chasing us. It's weird, though, because he's not actually conic. Uh, I'll go for C first. It's reversing what your expectation would be. It almost is as if they have potatoes, or not potatoes, what am I saying? Tomatoes on their head. Okay, so how much... So this recovers will. What I need is flesh. But this is only a weapon, so for to increase flesh, I have, guess I have to use my um, ho hollow blood, the ablatives. Just like we learned on the TV, huh? Who says the television isn't information, isn't educational? I do. This is not going well at all. This is, in fact, going terribly. Um, well, we have to heal. Don't worry, we'll kill them eventually. You know, I have to say, uh, Wayne has some beautiful hands. The reason that the cultists are sulking is because, is because they understand the sort of, just watching this, the kind of futility of what they're doing here. Because they keep attacking Wayne, but they see that he just heals his wounds. So no matter how much blood they take away, it just keeps coming back. I realize that, contrary to my original plans to be ironic, I ended up, uh, taking out cultist, cultist A first instead of cultist C. So in my attempt to not be ironic, I failed and ended up being ironic in a different way. That's a lot of meat. So hold on, what does meat do? I, 
Um, yeah, I, I guess that we that Wayne just gathers up body parts from the the people he kills. He's like an old warrior in ancient times or something. I have no key things right now, huh? That's sad. Okay, let's uh, keep going, Wayne. Your face looks kind of mean, but I think at heart you're not a bad guy. Seriously, though, we have a lot of MP, so we might be able to hold out for a little longer here. Oh, here's their uh, capital, huh? Another crystal activated. I am named... Dedusmal. I have spent my life searching for the paper cup. I have finally tracked it to these ruins. It is buried somewhere amidst the fallen monuments. So I, my choice is to offer to help with this search, or don't. I think I will. I mean, you know, he, he's really trying to protect himself from the cultists putting up these, uh, museum-style felt velvet ropes suspended between chess pieces. Space key, huh? I'll... Large up, huh? I like that he used the word stoked. It's not normally very educational. So this is your uh, machine finding machine. Your artifact finding machine. But we didn't fire it up. Well, we'll sleep here first. Hold on, what does that restore? Oh, it restores everything. Good. How do we turn on the machine, though? Uh, I was hoping that the water cooler would be, or I'm sorry, the keg of clear fluid resting atop a pedestal, or whatever you called it, would be, it would be the control panel for the machine, but I see it wasn't. There we go, it was that button. So now when we sleep, the, um, arms from the machine are going to, to, like, smother Wayne's head. Oh, I dream of intestines all the time. Wait, is that... So is that where the paper cup is? Maybe, but where does this go? Ah, yes. Braintown. I've been here sometimes. I... Oh, thanks, Sage of Brains. So... So that ne noble eightfold path was nonsense. What we really needed to be enlightened was a few tokens. I'll keep that in mind, Brain Sage. Um, all right. Well, if I happen to die, I'll um be sure to I'll I'll, I'll be sure to speak to to the Death Sage. Let's see, it was right here, wasn't it? No? I'm hitting that space bar plenty, but I'm not finding it. I'm not finding it. So here's what I think we actually have to do. I think I misinterpreted the message. You see? I bet you that these shapes we see here are some shapes that are out there in the cultist's maze somewhere, like Pac-Man. And what we have to do is find those shapes, and then that's where the X marks the spot, and that's where the treasure is. What are these shapes? Well, the one on the, uh... The one on the... On the left looks kind of like a big hand. This one looks like... Something that's been squeezed from a tube. And this one is a jellyfish man. Hey man, you ever talk to a jellyfish man? I talk to jellyfish men sometimes. Dead kings, many things I can't define. Well, um, let's go find those things. Let's see, I'm, I'm gonna look for the hand is gonna be my main, I suppose, landmark. Oh. Well, some things are unavoidable. Oh, look at the city behind them. You see, these are the savages currently threatening our civilization. So... We'll kill him. 
For you see, even the peace is ultimately maintained by violence, is it not? This time we took out Cultus C first, just like I was planning on doing. You know, I'm sorry to tell you guys this, but those things on your heads aren't actually cones. Well, now he's sulking because we keep killing all the other cultists. I like that it says, take that, after they're dead. Uh, alright. So much meat. Probably because every time we kill them, there's some meat. You know, this is a little bit strange. Anyway. I guess we can heal out of battle, right? So we can. It's a good thing that there's that free inn over there. Yeah, it would seem that the cultists, once you kill them, they are permanently dead. Now, it is true that that one with the squid thing on his head is by far the most dangerous of all the cultists. Now, this place goes deep. Oh, it's a teleset! I hear that you give me magic powers, right? See? You can learn things from certain television programs. It's just that unfortunately our disgusting corporate culture eventually results in the... eventually results in things like the History Channel becoming the crazy conspiracy theories and Nazis channel. Because it's all about making money, not about really educating people. Wait, hold on. Do we, did I pass by the hand? Was it up here? So there's the tongue, there's a goat skull, there's um, a thing, there is a screaming man with no legs, there is one of his missing legs, there is a mouth, there's um, a button we can't press. Yeah, look at that guy there beneath the blue mustache. He is totally chasing after us. I bet you he just wants to give us a high five. Oh. Oh, that stacks of money! Well, let's uh, loot this cult of everything they got. We'll rob them blind. I get it now. That fellow with the squid on his head is like their security man. Man, it's hard to believe that Wayne beats them down to their bones with a bat. But it's probably more like he they're able to fight and stand fine up until they get a cer sustain a certain amount of damage, at which point they just... They, their, their skin just falls off and they die. Most things can't survive very long after their skin's fallen off. That's my experience, anyway. Maybe you know some things with no skin that survive for a long time. But I don't. In any case, we are really not finding this special thing for the archaeologist. The paper cup, wasn't it? So this kind of looks like a hand. But it's not the hand from the dream. I mean... Pretty sure it's not anyway. Oh no, it's the Squidman. It's the Squidman. Um, okay, look, this is the sort of thing I should consult while not running around. So I'm gonna take a break here and take another nap. There's no reason not to when it's free. You see, the reason that this is the land of the Brain Sage is because it's about how we're sort of attaining enlightenment by seeing through the normal... But by, by going beyond the normal veil through which we view things. Okay, so I just need to find the hand. I probably already passed by it and just didn't realize, you know? You know how it is. Yeah, look at that squid man, he's really going to town. Now don't get me wrong, he's a fine dancer. And maybe in another life we could have been buds. But as it is, in his attempt to fight the man, he's just become another one of the men. Whoa. This one looks kind of like our head. Freaky, man. But, uh, I'm not seeing the hand thing anywhere. Wait, there it is! There's the hand thing! And there's this gross thing. And there's the jellyfish! Okay. Okay, we found, we found the spot with a paper cup. We got it. You know, have you ever tried to just dig a hole? It's not easy. But Wayne, he just dug that big hole there with his bare hands in a few seconds. He did it so quickly the cultists didn't even get him. The cultists got him this time, though. Well, the cone statue isn't much of a threat now that it can't blind us. 
So we'll take out the cultists first. I wonder what the tenets of the Cone religion are. Well, they probably understand that most of the world simply does not see the truth. It needs to be organized for a higher cause, man. And so, to organize for this greater cause, they realize that the ideal shape is the cone, because they must prevent erosion. The reason, you see, that they are attacking Wayne is because Wayne wants to leave the mountain and will take the money out of the mountain with him. But if they do that, then they'll be taking stuff from the mountain and thereby cause erosion. But we can't have that, now can we? Wait, strikes quickly. Okay, I see. Nice try, statue. These robots they built are actually just people in suits, which are designed to look like robots. They're like banana peppers, but the color of regular banana peels. Instead, you see, of the color of, um... Okay, now we just need to get out of here. Instead of the color of, of... Banana peppers. I bet you the cultist flesh tastes like banana peppers. We'll try it later. We can microwave it with the frozen burritos, which I bet you will turn them into warm burritos. Or we don't really need to save. Hey. The cup. You found it. I am an expert in the usage of pe- Oh. I am an expert in the usage of the paper cup. Please allow me to accompany you. One day, we may come across another artifact from the old times, which will require the paper cup. Whatever. Magnificent. I will guide you when the time comes. We met a friend. He's really risking life and limb hanging out here, wanting to take the paper cup away. And I think we found that artifact. We can use the paper cup with this machine. Your companion places the paper cup into a recess on the front. I actually don't like this voice. How about this voice? Your companion places the paper cup into a recess on the front of the machine and depresses a small blue lever. Fluid flows from the reservoir into the paper cup. You drink it, and... Your will is permanently increased by 25 points! Wow, we drank all of that water? Anyway, how are you an expert on the usage of the paper cup? If, I might remind you, you didn't have it until right now. Hey man, you ever talk to the Brain Sage? I'm just kinda, I'm just kinda curious. Yeah, you got that right. Just oozing around a brain. That's what everybody wants to do. Especially brain parasites. Eh. We'll leave the machine on. The cult wouldn't like that electricity leaving the mountain, of course, and I want to respect their religious beliefs. Maybe it would be prudent to create a record of our adventure thus far. This will be a valuable record, as I'm sure a fellow like, um... Dead... Dead Usman would appreciate. His head looks like some kind of snails. Maybe it's slugs having sex. Okay. Um... Get dressed. Get, get dressed. There we go. Wait, hold on. Dirk! Dirk! Isn't that... Wasn't there a Dirk back in... Back in Feria? There was! Hey, could, you, could you guys move? They're not gonna move. But don't worry, they'll move once we come back out here. Just like we get to see the corp- the bones of their companions fall into pools of blood again after we've gotten out of there. You see, the good thing about this is that you get to see them crumple over dead over and over again. Okay, we'll kill just a few more cultists for the road. I mean, it's not really going against their religion after all. I mean, the remains are remaining on the mountain, aren't they? I see Deadsmuln is like a healer because he has a lot less health. And the healers always do, ironically. That's just how the world goes.
They sure don't like him, though. They just keep wailing on it. Well, here's what we'll do. We'll throw one of our frozen burritos at him. At the statue, that is. I don't like seeing their mightiness go up. Look at it go, man. Man, these cultists are headbutting, huh? It makes sense with how tall their hats are that that would be a rather effective means of combat for them. What can you do special, Dedsmolner? Ah, uh, I don't like the sound of that. Let's just keep beating them to death. That was a pretty spectacular burrito throw earlier, though. Who could argue with that? That reminds me of the last time an, a burrito unraveled and phased into another dimension after I threw it. Happens all the time! I hate to see them so mighty, though. I want to see them low and to the ground, abased like earthworms, not high and mighty. Uh-oh, Desmolner. I'm afraid you're not doing so well right now. But don't worry, that's why I have healing magic that can fix how you're doing now so that you begin doing better. Oh, Wayne can only heal himself. Well, don't worry. In that case, there are other solutions. Take this toilet burrito that I happen to have. I'll get more later by microwaving the frozen burritos we've gotten here. What? Oh, I can only use it once they're unconscious. I see. Well, in that case, there's nothing to do but just attack. Don't worry, they'll die sooner or later. Everybody does. That's how it goes. I sure wish we could run, but that's why they make it so easy to avoid the enemies in the, like, overworld, because, you know, you, you, you don't have to fight anything. Man, I hate to see our old friend dead. Now who will wield the paper cup? There aren't many living masters of the paper cup left to wield the paper cup. But don't worry. Now we can use the use our warm burrito and revive it. This reminds me of a dream I had the other night. Except not really, because in that dream, lots of faceless creatures were tormenting my family and I. And we were had to survive a series of ordeals on an island in order to escape them. But these th those cultists weren't faceless, and, and they were also wearing very tall hats. Well, we keep tapping the Echo Crystals that were left by the Atlanteans for Echo. Wait, what? What did that mean? Hey, hold on, man. Let me take you back to my pad. There's some pretty nifty stuff there. I have a TV with full color. This is where I live. What do you think of my kitty cat? He's a very eloquent cat. His ears are shaped like mine. That's why I chose him. Oh, but we also have a kitten now. How sweet. Yeah, I don't have any more life savings. Those are gone. Do I have a microwave? No, I don't. This is concerning. I was thinking the frozen burritos would be very useful. All I'd need to do was warm them up. Now our only way to warm them up will be to put them in a bag we stick in our armpits. Because that part of the body tends to be somewhat warm after all. It's a lighthouse. What's the name of this city? Do not touch the ambulant skulls or you will die. I'll keep that in mind. Is that an ambulant skull up there? So it is. To initiate warp, make contact with the central node. Unauthorized access is discouraged. Thank you for understanding. Well, it's discouraged, but that doesn't mean you can't do it. They just prefer that you didn't.
What's with all these people talking about rays? It's infested, huh? Is that fellow right there, are those the creatures infesting it? Probably. They certainly seem to be drawn to us. But we'll stand over here for a moment, and then they'll get away from the red line. This will allow us to cross the red line. Those red lines, even I'm scared of lines in the sand. Don't let the creatures touch you. Okay. So this is the warp, huh? This is how people get around nowadays. This is the warp world. We, what we need, friend, is a microwave. Once we have that, everything will fall into place. Hello, ma'am. Do you have a microwave I could use? Though your fire is pretty good, too. Visitors are rare, huh? Is this your cat? Wait, what? Why, thank you, ma'am. You're very, you're very generous. I like your cat. He's very cute and soft. It's good to pet him because he isn't a cactus. Because if you were a cactus, it'd kind of hurt, you know? Can we sleep? Yeah. They'll sleep together. They become lovers, Wayne and the other guy. The smoke of evening microcosm and memories rose like a shrunken pain in the mice. Beautiful. Real poets of the beat generation. I agree, but can we put a burrito into it? No, we can't. Someday we'll find the burrito we've always wanted. That we've dreamed of for generations. And find other artifacts of the old world. It figures that the frozen burritos would have lasted, though. Look at all of the hermit crabs. The hermit crabs here are also white and black like that woman and her kitty cat wa were. This looks kind of like Wayne. Nothing we can do to them. Oh, here's a hotel. This has been a long trip. Oh, this wasn't a hotel at all. They have terrible discourtesy to their guests here. Well, we have Malign Hologram and the Guard. I prefer to take out the guard first, because you know what they say about malign holograms. Take them out first. You see, I'm doing the opposite of that to be ironic again. That's the goal, to be ironic. All the coolest cats are the ironic cats. What is on that guard's head? Or, I suppose that could be the guard's head. Yeah, that malign hologram keeps getting mightier. Maybe we should take him out. See? This'll take him out good. It'll bruise him. Uh-oh, that's not good. Well, we have enough money now that we should probably go shopping for some new armor anyway. We'll head back to the austere city. That'll be austere. Fortunately, the light doesn't hurt your health or hurt your flesh. It only hurts your eyes, even though I'm fairly sure that the eyes are also flesh. Of course, they're sep distinct from the other flesh, because whereas the other flesh mostly has blood in it, the eyes have blood and vitreous humor. Let's get out of there. We need to head back to the city. Once we get back to town, we'll buy some armor. Anyway, it's a pretty landscape, so we'll let that sink in.
Anyway, this must be how people get around these days instead of by car. Oh, another one. Is there anything else in this brain wad? No, nothing else in the brain wad. You see, this is just the trouble that I thought we might run into here. I see, they're spiral poly traits. Well, we can't heal anymore, and we can't run away. We're actually in a rather tough position. Oh wait, we can! Don't worry, we'll escape this one too. We'll be flight of feet. Flight of, of foot, of tread. Our treads will be the fastest feet. No, escape! Yes, good job! Oh, it's one of those skulls. Yeah, I see that the teleporter isn't doing so well these days. I do like this piece of abstract art, though. I bet you it's called... Blood in D Minor. Okay, here we are again. I bet you've been here before, haven't you, Mr. Archaeologist? Of course you have. Because this is where we met, all those fateful years ago. It's funny that they're still using dollars in the future, but they're probably actually using whole deer. Or this could be the past, but probably not. This is awfully expensive for frozen burritos, so clearly some inflation has been occurring. Oh, I like the sound of that, but then again, that is rather pricey. Well, later on. We will, um, get it, but we don't have enough money right quite yet now. Alright, de- Dead us, moon? What I need you to do is change- oh, he can't do that. Well, he can at least put on this. There we go. And make enemies blind? Nah. Getting dressed for blinding enemies strikes me as more a this guy kind of thing. A Wayne kind of thing. Okay. Well, now we're gonna head home and take another nap. You know how it is. Running around, eating burritos, then sleeping. Everyone can relate to the experiences of Wayne and Desdelman. Here in Meth... Meth... Methlil... Methlilian. I'll just call it austerity. It's nice to see for once that the overworld isn't infested with monsters. All too often, video game overworlds are infested with monsters. And that doesn't make much sense, does it? After all, that would be very detrimental to the economy. As you can see, Wayne's a friend to all living animals, except the ones that are sentient and he kills them to eat their flesh. I see that there's a little thing in the wharf on this side. What is it? Oh, it's a boat. Unfortunately, we can't sail the boat out of here. It must belong to Wayne. Maybe Wayne has more money than I thought. I was wondering who the king of this continent was. Perhaps it is Wayne. He'll have to order the guards to open up the floodgates later, so that he can go through the gates and leave. Hold on, we actually didn't buy armor, did we? I guess my, I'm just not quite thinking as clearly as I might normally think in, um, 
you know, given the circumstances. Hello, Boxman. Boxman? Oh. Well, I just lost 25 bucks. I feel bad now. I'll know better next time than to ever talk to Boxman again, even though he just wanted to help. But nobody's perfect in this world of ours. I guess that this might also be like a woman screaming. No, this isn't the shop. This is a shop I've already been to. Inside the dog with the one eye or the woman screaming. And her nose is turning into a worm. This way we'll have enough combat shells for everybody. Or I'm sorry, combat bells. When we're going into combat, the best thing to do is to have combat bells. Everybody knows that. Oh, I see the problem with these. No. We, it's very important that we have this other stuff. So, even if it isn't as great as if we had, say, the combat shells on, we'll make do. I do feel like I've been conned, my good sir. Although, then again, you have told me, you, you gave me a fair description of it. So, I guess the only thing to do is to sell them back to you, even though I just purchased them. Well, I'll keep one for the road. Wow, or would these be great, great armor to have? Here, this way at least we can both have a proper torso shell. Or combat armor. It's not very good torso shells, but... But we need is more shops, but to get the money to those shops, we have to kill more things. Soon, we will be standing astride a world of corpses. Just like everyone always wanted to. That's been my dream for many years, is to stand astride a world of corpses. That's the whole point, as pointy as those points. You know, there was this movie from like the 60s or 70s called The Point. It was pretty trippy. Unlike this. Come, Des Dillman. Surely we will find another water cooler somewhere. At the very least, you will not again be blinded by radiance thanks to the cellophane that you have acquired. I guess you put it over his head. We don't need to breathe, we have more important things to do. Like see what is on the other side of this bridge. Beauty, that's what. What's that tall fellow? Oh. It's a dangerous tall fellow. Well, we'll deal with him mm -hmm. later. I see that he was guarding a bunch of uh, pasta shaped like shells. Well, when we're hungry and need that pasta, we'll deal, with, we'll deal with that then. That bridge will cross when we come to it. Look, clusters of caterpillars. How sweet. They're eating the islands away, so those conic guys would hate him. That's just because the Conic cult are a bunch of bigots, which is why it's okay to slaughter them like... like sheep. Or... pigs. Or other slaughterable things. Look! A pyramid! Let's go meet... O Osiris. Oh, it's an access terminal. Well, let's access it! Um, 
Oh, I see. So this is indeed how they tr travel around the world in this world of theirs. Rather odd place. I mean, look, they have a statue of a s emaciated xenomorph. Always a sign of weird things afoot. No, oh, you're feeling blue, aren't you, friend? Oh, hey, Wayne. I left my magic gauntlets in the basement. Now it's infested with ambulance skulls. Maybe you could help me retrieve them? I mean, the gauntlets. We should avoid the skulls. Okay. Nice. Ah, now our old friend Samsnosa has joined. Don't worry, we'll get him back. Let me look, watch your show first. Not, you know, some people don't like TV, but Wayne really appreciates it. That's really his only desire in life, is to watch lots of TV. What else do you have in your house? Oh, no warm burritos, huh? Yeah, it would be kind of awkward to eat out of somebody else's toilet. Nobody wants to do that. Oh, some snosa, your eyes look sort of sad. They kind of remind me of uh, the sort of character you might see on Adventure Time. Okay. Um. You wearing anything? Oh, he is a demon skull. There we go. Although I'm kind of curious. Poncho power. Sounds good. No, but he already is wearing those combat horns on his head, so we'll let him wear the armor. How do we get to the rubbish bin? This must be Arcat's mother. That's why we know this guy. Our old buddy. Don't just leave the fridge open. Some Snosa is going to be mad at you. Yeah, I hate it when my basement gets infested with ambulance skulls. One hit and you're dead, eh, huh? Who are you? Psst, hey, roach food. I've got your roach food. A thousand bucks for some roach food. Deals like this come once in a lifetime. Nah, man. Nah. Cheapskate. So, I didn't realize you were letting some guy board in your basement. Oh, I see. Those skulls are indeed following us around. Well, um... I'll just let them all come over here to us. And then run! We didn't make it. Ugh! We have the same fate the cultists do, huh? Oh, so this is where you go to die, like the fish when they do when they get on land. So, this is the afterlife. Feel free to crash on the couch. Use the machine over there to convert any meat you found into flesh points. Huh. Well, I see we've lost, um, our horned friend. Did we use that... Was that all our meat? Yeah, it was all of it. Well... Oh, I see that not all the crystals have been lit up. These must let us teleport back to those locations. The executive balcony down the stairs. Only those who have died three times are allowed there. You need to die two more times. I see. So if we want to meet the Sage of Death, we have to die some more. Oh, I see. Well, okay. Um... What about this one? This will take us back to our friend's house, right? Yeah. Hey man, sorry that that roach salesman killed us. Let's try again, huh? Some Snow says a good guy. It would be a shame if we lost him. Oh, hey, hold on. Nah, we can't look at his art. He's a good painter. That's the sort of thing he does for a living, in fact, is paint. 
Some people's muse is their girlfriend, but his muse was his magic gauntlets. So the fact that he lost them has really been quite a detriment to his career. Here they are. Yeah, that roach food salesman. He killed us. Hold on. I want to see what's outside. Oh. Mind if I take your money here, friend? That's enough for some roach food. If I ever need any, we can die, and then we'll go get the roach food. That'll be pretty good. Right, Des? Desi? Mind if I call you Desi? I don't know why I'd call you Desi. I mean, we have Des this moon, but I I'll call him Desi, and some snosa will be s su s nose. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Converting living things into mightiness. Which one will be best? I'll take that one. I mean, is it better than this? It doesn't really appear to make any difference, actually. Wait, we have texture? Yeah, none of these change any of our stats. I like that one of our stats is texture. I feel like most video games don't appropriately value how important it is to have good texture. Oh, come on, friend. Ah, I thought for a moment I thought that was the satellite dish that let him watch television. I guess the TV comes from that building there with a the big television on it. Well, now that we have three people, we might be able to get into that yellow hotel. Sounds like a good plan to me, Clay Wads. And now the three sleep on top of each other, forming a sandwich. That's much more beautiful than my sandwich poem. Here we are. This Gar doesn't even seem to be aware of what happened to the hologram. They all follow tight patrols in this place, not like those wacky cultists. Oh. Good. We can pick out through their botanical garden. Oh. We could do this with all those cactuses back at our house, too. Or cacti, I mean. What good is a vegetable, though? Does it do a thing? Wow, wow, wow! I didn't realize how important vegetables were. I'll have to get as many vegetables as possible from here on out. Next time we're at our house after we die, I'll be sure to get some. Is this a button? No. Yeah, this whole world is like... A very odd vision. It's a cross between sort of crazy... It's like Crazy Cat meets Dr. Seuss meets the Neverhood with its own bizarre filter on top. It has this sort of... I don't know... rock aesthetic to it. Yet the music's been surprisingly underplayed for something that sounds so outrageous. Oh, I had a feeling something like this would happen. But this way we can go to that building where the TV is projected from. And if that's what I must do, then so be it. I have a feeling our main threat's that fellow on the left. His eyes are a little disaligned with his nose because his nose is to the left of his... Er, yeah, to the right of his eye. It's left from our side. No, not hypno sigils. I prefer this. We will do it to the horrid projection. Um, yeah, we'll make somebody queasy. Like, the horrid projection. The horrid projection must be a hologram that's a security device for the gates and the, and the, you know, the harbor gates. I suppose it just goes to show. 
something. Not entirely sure what. Um... I assume many leech actually gives us some of the health points through the flesh we drain from the enemy, so I will refrain from using it until some Snosa has taken a bit more damage. You know, it's very odd if Wayne is the king that they would be attacking him in this way. I guess he's not much of a king. Well, that's rather bad. I really would have preferred that that hadn't happened. If we take out the horrid projection, though, we don't... The guard is, you know, a small fry in comparison. That Dirk, though, is a surprisingly powerful weapon, so... More power to ya, Dudzy, or whatever I said I'd call you. I know that some Snosa is nose. I remember that part. So let's see if Mini Leech works the way I hope it does. Look at those space shurikens go. That actually looked like six leeches. Unfortunately, it takes a lot of will to do in a, you know, use an attack of that kind. Here you go. D oh, we can only use it on ourselves. I forgot. Well, we could use it too. As for you, what you should do is ingest a vegetable. These are very good for you, as they say. Now, some snosa, what you need to do... Actually, wait, could I go back to TVs I've already been to so that everyone can learn the healing magic? I'll try that next time we're at the house. He has a pretty high attack stat because of his magic gauntlet, so let's try. I like how Snows is totally up for this, like he didn't need any kind of... Oh, some Snosa. Oh, Dudzy. Wait, Dudzy is alive again? What? Oh, I see, Wayne healed, du or Dudzy used the item. Okay, I see. This is a very catchy piece of music that's playing here. It lets you know that you're dealing with trouble. Have you ever been attacked by a horrid projection before? Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments. I tell you what, Dudzy, you've got to shape up some. Nice to have that horrid projection gone. The guard waited a minute. He didn't attack immediately because he was so shocked by the damage that occurred to the horrid projection. The guard did not expect that to transpire. And to think we're doing all this just to get to that TV station. Anyway, I like that Nose is totally on board with this. He didn't need to ask us what we were doing or why we were doing it. This is the sort of thing that Wayne normally goes out and does on normal occasions. This is just a normal... a normal Tuesday for them. When machines are activated in this world, they squiggle around like that. Like giant wads of worms. Maybe the kind that live on deep sea vents, like the Pompeii worms. Those Pompeii worms have strange protrusions from their bodies. They are actually colonies of bacteria that help protect them from the chemicals in the water. It's called symbiosis. Okay, just avoid all of the security. How long will they continue to c carry out their grim march before they come to the realization that what they have guarded for all these centuries has been 
has been bro broached, it's been touched. Anyway, now we will take the royal boat and go out for a drive through the oceans. I agree, ma'am. She's surprised that we've been coming in here so often in just a few days, and are kinky enough to have threesomes every night. Let us go harvest Wayne's crops. We will be back here later to take out that rather tall monster guarding the delicious shell pasta. Now, however, it will be dangerous because of all of those crazy monsters in our way. Well, wow. actually pretty well. Hold on. Let's see what this TV has to tell us. Brains. Oh, it's meat, actually. Delicious. You know, law is like sausage. If you like it, you're probably better off not seeing it made. Otto von Bismarck said something like that. Otto von Bismarck was probably evil, but he was pretty clever and a great politician. Because politics are kind of evil. We'll be here later to rummage more through the trash. I guess we have things like... Yellow Submarine. We all live in one of those, did you know that? I mean, when you get down to it, isn't everywhere in the world a Yellow Submarine, after all? Our whole universe is just a Yellow sub Submarine.